The second important uh, perspective is the conflict perspective. Now, conflict perspective is a major alternative to functionalism for the understanding and analyzing the structure of the societies. Now, this perspective is uh, quite important and quite popular uh, in the modern uh, sociology or in the contemporary sociology. Although we don't see that much uh, uh, unif unified kind of approach uh, amongst the different uh, proponents of this perspective, so we see the difference, but still, despite these agreements, uh, we see that uh, they share, the, the conflict uh, theorists share certain important assumptions. So they have a distinctive way of looking at the society. And when they are looking at the society, they are trying to be critical of functionalism. They are trying to highlight the limitations of the functionalism. And uh, what they are focusing at is that conflict is a necessary feature of social life. Functionalists have not talked about it that way. They only uh, try to refer to these kind of things as transitory. Maybe they are trying to, these situations could be uh, temporary, transitory kind of disturbances, which might be, uh, let's say, affecting the a smooth functioning of the society, what they call as the equilibrium of the society. So we see that uh, uh, functionalists were looking at the integration of the society. Uh, we see that uh, they talked about the interdependence of the parts, and not only the interdependent, then also they are integrated for uh, the let's say, smooth functioning of the society. So if there is any, any, any conflict, uh, let's say, between two parties, uh, then there was a mechanism to resolve that uh, conflict. So people were talking about the value consensus. People were talking about the norms. And these uh, norms uh, overpower the conflicting kind of situations. Uh, and uh, again, the society runs uh, smoothly. Whereas conflict theorists see society as a big, uh, let's say, arena where uh, the different groups uh, fight for power. So different groups uh, look for power, power uh, over other, other, other groups. So we see that how this conflict is controlled in the uh, in, in in view of uh, the conflict uh, theorist there the conflict might be controlled but not by by consensus the conflict is controlled in this perspective by by power by suppress by suppressing the people who are less powerful who might be conflicting with their interests. So the powerful try to bring the, let's say, peace in the society, but that uh, they might resolve the conflict, but that res resolution of the conflict is temporary. So what the focus is that the basis of force, uh, of uh, basis of, uh, let's say, uh, uh, Resolution of the conflict is uh, not the consent, but the power of the people. So there is no permanent control. The powerful may temporarily control by suppressing the, the rivals. There might be different ways of uh, using this uh, uh, suppression. So for functionalists, uh, uh, they think that civil laws as a, they use civil laws as a means to social integration, the coordination, the interdependence, the smooth functioning of the society.
whereas the conflict theorists consider that civil laws are the means of uh, upholding a particular social order uh, and that uh, social order is being upheld by those who are in in power it is uh, in 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 uh, let's say in support of the powerful they benefit from uh, that so they benefit from that at the expense of uh, others uh, and others are less powerful if if they have the civil laws then who makes those civil laws civil laws are again made by the people in power uh, whatever is the basis of this power economic power or the political power or some other power the powerful people have the laws make the laws and they make use of these laws for order in the society but that order uh, is temporary ultimately again uh, some kind of conflict emerges so powerful the real beneficiaries of uh, the social order so if there is disorder in the society uh, disturbance in the society that has to be suppressed and that su suppression is by the powerful people